You're testing in Liberty Hill. Okay. Lady, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to some Panther baseball. I'm sorry for the delay. We've had some technical issues, and we've also been relocated from Eastview High School to Liberty Hill High School due to some power failure issues over there in Georgetown. This game's about to start. We're just waiting on some umpires, and we're ready to start the district play. Coming in the district, the Panthers are 12 and 5 with some key wins over some strong teams such as uh, Austin McNeil, Cedar Park, Timberwolves, and also Cedar Ridge and Lampasas twice. So their Panthers are 12 and 5. Meanwhile, Eastview is Eastview is four and eight on the year, looking to s looking to have a great start to their district season by putting out the Panthers in Liberty Hill. Thank you for joining me. I'm Jason Hebner, representing Liberty Hill Baseball Club or Liberty Hill Baseball, presented by Liberty Hill Booster Club on Vibe Live, and we are awaiting umpires for the start of this game. I'll do a quick District 25-5A preview as we're waiting umpires here. In District 25-5A, we have Leander Glenn, Liberty Hill, Marble Falls, Leander Rouse, the Leander Lions, Cedar Park, Georgetown Eastview, and the Georgetown Eagles. So out of those teams, there are two state-ranked teams currently. Currently ranked eighth in the state is Cedar Park after a strong win over Lake Travis. Currently ranked ninth in the state is Leander Rouse after a strong early season beating number one earlier number one Claiborne. Also in the district, Liberty Hill are gonna be fighting for that district title. As well as as well as Georgetown. They've always had a strong program and I'm sure they'll con wanna continue to dominate in this district. Looks like the umpires are walking onto the field now. We'll have a coaches meeting and we'll have your first pitch. These weather conditions have it's been going out it's been going down drastically. Looking at a sixty one degrees with a strong wind looks to blowing out to right field. Could be could be good for the lefties today. Right now you're seeing Coach Hutch explain the ground rules of Liberty Hill baseball of the baseball stadium. Looking to start district off good in his third year as the Liberty Hill baseball head coach. From the looks of it, it looks like Logan Bailey is going to be your starting pitcher. New to Liberty Hill, a sophomore from Alaska. Pretty interesting. <laughs> starting catcher looks to be Garrett Neely, number two. Junior. Was called up to varsity last year just about the time the season got canceled, unfortunately. Speaking of last year, at the when the season was canceled, Panthers ranked number one in 4A. Some key seniors they lost were Rowan Guerra, Dylan Pogue, Matt Flake, Ryan Flake, sorry. But this Panthers is a young Panther team. 
they're going to look to have a strong district season, work their way into the playoffs in District 25-5A. See the Panthers take the field. Other starters for the Panther, for the Panthers, number 24, Cash Durkin on first base. Looks like we have Cade Noonschwander at third, Ryan Leary at shortstop, Jackson Knox at second base. On the outfield, looks like we have Logan Dyer in center field, uh, Jack Stavano on right, and Tyler Williams in left to the to my eyes. Oh, that's not Tyler Williams. That's going to be. Chase Maxwell in left field. Come down the final few warm up pitches for Bailey. Good throw down a second for Neely. Eastview's leadoff hitter steps into the plate. So we're underway here at Panther Stadium. First pitch high. Ball one. Popped up into center, second base, going to be trouble. Looks like a diving catch by number seven, Jack Stavanoa. Hit right over Knox's head, kind of into that little Bermuda Triangle, as Coach Hutcherson likes to call it. Out one for the Panthers. Ball one. Billy comes set. Delivers his pitch. Ball two low. Good spot to miss. Fortunately, we do not have Eastview's roster. Otherwise, I'd call out their names. Here comes the pitch. Popped up. Out of play. Directly behind us. Gives you a chance to see Gary Neely's white, white glasses. 2-1 count. One out here in the top of the first. Curveball bounces in the dirt there. Looks like Berglund batting. Ground ball at Leary. Diving stop. Doesn't stop it. Rolls into center field for Dyer. It's going to be a single for Berglund.
get a chance to see Bailey here with runners on base. Now bang for ECU Huerta. Ball one's high outside. Almost could have been a pitch out if the runner tried to steal. Panthers looking for a ground ball here. Come set. Pick off. Runner is safe. Tag applied by Cash Durkin. Ball is fouled out into the parking lot. Eastview batter just turned on it. One one count now. One out here at Liberty Hill. Umpire calls time. Nice curveball by Bailey. Gives him a second strike of the at bat. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw another one here. Bailey comes set. Pick off. Runner is safe. Good move by Bailey. Keep him keep him in check. Pitch right on off the outside corner. Liberty Hill wanted that one. Two two count. Where to at bat? Eastview's number three hitter. Bailey comes set. Swing and a miss. Strike out. Two outs for the Panthers now. Makes it a little easier with the runner on base. Good pitch there. Clean up hitter for Eastview steps in. Bailey's set. Pick off. Runner's safe. That was the closest pick off of the three he's attempted. Good block by Garrett Neely behind the plate. Keep that pass ball in front of him. Curve ball in the dirt, ball one. Where it goes. Neely throws a little wide. Runner safe. If the shortstop was covering there, I think it would have been an out. Two on the at bat. Bailey steps off. Two outs here at Liberty Hill, just looking for to put the final out away. Bailey comes set. Another good stop by Neely behind the plate. 3 0 count. McLaughlin at bat. Good pitch. Come back into the strike zone. Pitch number four there. This will be the 16th pitch of the inning. Bailey set. Delivers. Curveball in the dirt. Or I'll take his base. 
ECU now is a runner at first and second. Kind of put a courtesy runner in for McLaughlin. Now Balu in the box. Bale's going to want to get him here. Come set. Good pitch. Swinging fouled off back to the box stop. 0-1 oh, the count. Bailey set. Good curve ball. Call the ball. 1-1 one, one count. Panthers looking to get out of this inning without allowing a run. Here comes the pitch. Ball two inside. Neely giving the sign. Comes in. Checks his runner. Ball three high. Leary's going to go talk to him. Try to calm down the sophomore. Larry jogs back to short. Runners on first and second for Eastview. Trying to bat him in. Here comes the pitch. Ball's hit to left field. S Maxwell makes the catch right at the warning track for out number three. We'll go to the bottom of the second, or bottom of the first here in Liberty Hill. Strong wind may have helped the Panthers there. First look at ECU starting pitcher. That would work, yep. You'll see on your screen Coach Jordan Johns going over the first base. We're working on getting an easy roster right now. Looks like a starting pitcher is number 21, senior Jaden Reynolds. Looks good so far in the pitches I've seen. Panthers are going to look to get some runs here in the bottom of the first. Leading off for Liberty Hill, number 12, Ryan Leary. Leary, a Texas State commit. Starting shortstop for the Panthers. He'll try to get on base and start the spark. Reynolds takes a sign. Leary calls time.
Here comes the pitch. Curveball down and away. Larry watches it. Ball one. Here comes pitch number two. There he swung on right through the gap between first and second base. Runs hard in case the right fielder decides to make a play. Single for Leary to start off the inning. Now to bat number seven, Jack Stavanoa. Lefty hitter. Reynolds comes set. Ball one outside. One zero count. Pick off to first. Leary's back in time. No tag even applied. Stavanoa, or Stavi as may call him, steps back into the box. Ball two, low and outside. Two O count. Here comes pitch. Ball three. Once again, outside. Reynolds struggling to find the zone right now. Reynolds comes set. Right down the pipe for strike number one. Three one count for Stavanoa. Leary on first base. Leary goes. He's safe. Would have been safe. Stavano got walked. Bang third for the Panthers is number eight, Jackson Knox. Senior second baseman. He's going to look to reach base here. Maybe knock a few in. Reynolds checks Leary on second. <laughs> Stevano on first, Leary on second. Knocks at bat. Reynolds delivers. Bunt. Right down the third base line. Knocks his out at first by a step. Does his job and moves his runners over to second and third. Hopefully for Cash Durkin to knock in. See that a lot this season. Coach Hutch uses a sacrifice bunt to his advantage. Now the junior first baseman, Cash Durkin. Steps into plate as the Eastview catcher calls time. Going to go talk it up with Reynolds. They're going to make sure they're on the same page here. Turkin steps into the box. Stavano on second, Leary on third. Reynolds. Here comes the pitch. Ball one low. Nunschwander on deck. One-o -oh count for Durkin.
Here comes the pitch. Curveball's fouled off to the home stands. Reynolds comes set, delivers. Durkin off the end of the bat. Durkin's out of second, or out of first. It's going to be enough for Leary to score. 1 0 Liberty Hill. Durkin just early there, right off the end of the bat. First out for Liberty Hill. Second out for Liberty Hill. Now Noonchwander at the plate. Looking to knock Stavanoa in. First pitch, curveball's high. Reynolds taking a sign. Comes set. There's an inside fastball. Noon Schwander fouls into the parking lot. Once again, a strong right, uh, right field wind here today. Cold front has just pushed through. Getting a little chilly out there. Reynolds comes set. Stavano at second. Strike two on the outside corner. One two count for Nunchwander. Tyler Williams on deck. Nunchwander chases a high fastball for out number three. Bailey back on the mound in the top of the second. Panthers scored one in the bottom of the first on a Cash Durkin ground out. Put together by a Leary single and a Stavanoa walk and a Knox sacrifice bunt. Looks like the pitcher Reynolds is going to lead off for the East View this inning. Once again, for all you listening, you may be unaware, but this game was originally supposed to be played at East View High School. Fortunately, a power, power failure over there has made it where we are now at Liberty Hill. Good throw by Neely there on the... Good throw to second. Reynolds leading off the top of the second for Eastview, looking to respond back. Bailey comes set. Ground ball hit over to Knox. Knox fields it cleanly. Throw to first is good. One out for Panthers. Out to bat, number 17, Peyton Adams, Jr. Bailey's first pitch is low. He wasn't happy with his landing spot on the mound there. 1-0 count to Adams.
Bailey set, here comes the pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike one. Third pitch, just a little high. Good spot. 2 1 count now. One out here in the top of the second. Here comes the pitch. Right, hit right on the outside corner. Strike two. 2 2 count now for Bailey. Adams at bat. Here comes the pitch. Curve ball. Just outside. It's a real good curve ball from Bailey. Full count now. Ball four outside. Peyton Adams has walked. Now bat number ten. Jesus Santana. Panthers, like most baseball teams, looking for a ground ball now. Adams with a fairly considerable lead at first. Strike one for Bailey. Fastball on the outside edge. Durkin holding the runner on. Bailey comes set. Pick. Ball bounces out of Durkin's glove on the tag. A one count now. At bat, Santana. Curveball falls in there for a strike. Bailey has a big 12 6 curveball. Actually, more of like a 10 4, but 12 6 is the term. Bailey comes set. Curveball, which is chased by Santana for out number two. Now to bat for Eastview, number 15, Rendell Ellis. Sophomore. Lefty. Bailey comes set. First pitch is swung on, missed. Strike number one. Bailey comes set, picks the first. Just a bit slow. Runner safe. Adams at first base. Bailey's pitch is called a ball. 1-1 one, one count. Ellis at bat. Liberty Hill sticking to a one nothing lead here. Top of the second. Two outs. Bailey comes set. Popped. Looks like it's going to be popped out. Right behind us. Bailey looking to end the inning here. 1-2 count to Ellis. Adams on first base. Two outs for the Panthers. High fastball. Two-two count now.
pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike three in the inning. Panthers going to look to score some more runs here in the bottom of the second. I believe Tyler Williams is leading off. <laughs> the wind is absolutely howling right now. Out of the northwest. In terms of our baseball field blowing out to right field. Tyler Williams leading off for the Panthers, bottom of the second. Right-handed hitter. Outfielder. Reynolds, the Eastview pitcher. Wind-ups. First pitch is low and outside, ball one. One no count. Here comes the pitch. High and inside. Ball number two. Pitch number three. Strike on the outside corner. Eastview left fielder is playing very far inward. Left field line is open for Williams. Comes pitch number four. Swung on and missed. 2-2 two -two count now. Williams looking to start something here for the Panthers. Reynolds shakes off his first sign. Wind up, delivers. Ball three outside. Full count now. Fastball high, swung on, and missed. Williams strikes out, out number one. Now bag number three, Chase Maxwell, the left fielder. Only a sophomore. Was on varsity last year. First pitch is a strike on the inside half. Reynolds looking to find a groove here. Ball low. 1-1 one, one count. Maxwell steps on the plate. Ball is hit high into right field. Right fielder looked like he had some trouble finding it before he did. Out number two. Two outs for Liberty Hill. Bottom of the second. Now to bat number five, Logan Dyer, center fielder.
going to look to start a two-out rally for the Panthers here. First pitch is high. Ball. Reynolds delivers. Curve ball. Fouled off by Dyer. Neely comes and retrieves the foul ball. Hands it to the umpire. 1-1 one, one count. Reynolds looking to get out of this inning scotch free. Ball too high. Ball three high as well. Reynolds showed, Reynolds showed some control issues in the first inning. See if he can figure them out here. 3-1 count for Dyer. Ball four low and away. Dyer will take his base. And Garrett Neely will come up to the plate. Dyer on first, Neely at the plate. Neely, the junior catcher, got the start tonight. Reynolds, here's the pitch. Strike on the outside half. 0-1 count. Panthers lead 1-0 here in the bottom of the second. Reynolds thought about throwing it, decided not to. Reynolds comes set. Here comes the pitch. Neely hits it high into right field. Right fielder gets under it. Catches it to retire the inning. We're heading to the top of the third. Bailey returns to the mound for the Panthers. Providing some momentary relief for Neely as he gets his catcher's gear on is number one, Carson Riley. Here comes Neely. Neely's throw the second is good. Looking to start the top of the third here. Leading off for the Eastview Patriots is number eight, Tyler Champagne, senior. Bailey takes a sign, comes set.
Gets a fly out into le third left field. Chase Maxwell got a first a bad read on it. Comes in, makes a diving catch for out number one. The wind killed that ball. You can kind of see by Maxwell's route. Kind of started back and came in on it. Made the diving catch regardless. Good start for Bailey in the top of the third. Now bag number nine. Ben Berglund. Here comes pitch. Just a little low for Bailey there. One no count. Comes set. Ball too high. Nearly gives him a sign. Delivers. Berglund hits a single into right field. Right to Stavanoa. Stavanoa throws it in. Hold him to a single. Berglund on first for Eastview. Now up to bat number 11, Tyler Huerta. The junior lefty. Bailey once again looking for a ground ball. First pitch strike. Low and inside. A one count here. Bailey comes set. The pitch. Two seamer went a little high there. ECU looking to score a few runs in the top of the third. <laughs> Bailey. Pop up. The wind blows it. They're going to get out second, it looks like. Which they do. That strong northwest wind hurt the Panthers there. But it resulted in about what it would have been anyways. Two outs now. Not too bad, the catcher, number 19, McLaughlin. Pick. Runner safe at first. Runner is Huerta. Two outs for Liberty Hill. Looking to end the top of the third. Weak ground ball fouled down the third baseline. Ninchwander throws it back to Bailey. A one count now. Bailey comes set. Third ball goes outside. 1-1. One, one. Here comes the pitch. Hit out to right field. Stavano looks to be under it. Ends the inning. Good first three innings for Bailey. Kept it scoreless for the Patriots. We head to the bottom of the third, where the Panthers look to add some more runs to their total.
Panthers look to be at the top of their lineup for the bottom of the third. Coach Johns jogs by. Throw down to second. One hop. As Ryan Leary heads the plate to lead off for Liberty Hill. Leary singled in his last at bat. One of the strongest hitters for this Liberty Hill lineup. Reynolds takes a sign, winds up. First pitch strike. Right at the knees. Oh, one count. Here comes the pitch. Curve ball. Leary way ahead of it. Panthers looking to tack on a few more runs here in the bottom of the third. Currently leading 1-0 to zero over the Eastview Patriots. Reynolds. Curveball, high and inside. One-two count now. Stavano on deck. Knocks in the hole. Here comes the pitch. Leary grounds it to shortstop. Shortstop throws. Leary's going to beat it out. He is safe. Good strong run down the line by Leary there to beat out the weak ground ball. Leary on first. Stavano at the plate. Stavano looking to Move Leary over somehow. Reynolds comes set, delivers. First pitch is fouled off by Stavanoa. Knox retrieves the foul ball. Pick the first. Leary is back easily. Stavanoa looking to repeat the first inning here. Leary goes. Catcher never has control of the ball. It's going to be a free stolen base for Leary. One one count now. Lear on second base. Stavano looking to r drive him in. Stavi shows bunt. Reynolds decides to uh, keep Leary close. Shows him a little pickoff move. Stavano steps back up to the plate. Reynolds comes set. Stavi shows bunt. Pulls back. Ball number two. Eastview is full out defending the bunt right now. Stavi shows. Reynolds delivers the pitch. Stavi pulls back. Ball three once again high. 3-1 count for Stavi Noah here. No outs in the bottom of the third. Reynolds comes set. Here's the pitch. Strike two on the inside corner. Full count now for Stavanoa. 
looking to drive in Leary on second base. Reynolds has Leary in a rundown now between second and third. Leary doing his best to evade. Looks like he is going to be safe. Third baseman missed a tag on Leary. ECU just got a little bit sloppy there. Kind of just tossed it around. Leary and Coach Hutch going to talk that over. Make sure those little lapses don't happen again as the Eastview coach decides to plead his case with the umpire. Looks like Leary is going to remain on third base. Stavano with a full count looking to drive him in. Reynolds on the mound. Takes a sign. Come set. Pitch is fouled off by Stavanoa off the palm plate. Good job defending. Full count here. Stavanoa at the plate. Ball forward low. Leary's going to score on the pass ball. 2-0 Liberty Hill. No outs as Jackson Knox heads to the plate. 7-0 on first base. Knox looking to keep the momentum rolling. Reynolds comes set. Ball one's a fastball high. Knox in his last at bat laid down a perfect sacrifice bunt to move Stavano and Leary over, which resulted in a Panther run. He's looking to get more than a sacrifice bunt here, though. Here comes the pitch. Stavano goes. Her ball in the dirt. Catcher didn't pick it cleanly. Stavano is going to be up easy for a stolen base. 2 0 count now. Knox looking again, RBI here. Stavano on second base. Knox at bat. Here comes the pitch. Fastball outside, 3 0 count. Liberty Hill leading 2 0, bottom of the third here. Pitch, ball four low. Going to put a runner on first base and second base for cleanup hitter Cash Durkin as Eastview is going to want to talk this over with their pitcher. Looks like we may be having a pitching change or at least a sub. So here's the first baseman headed to the mound that bullpen he's gonna talk as long as they can to give him some time in the pin looks like they're gonna keep Reynolds in for for Durkin They still need a first baseman, though. The original first baseman heads back to first. Durkin at bat. Stavano on second. 
Knocks it first. No outs here. Reynolds comes set. First pitch, ball in the dirt. Or on the turf at Liberty Hill. 1 0 count. Liberty Hill dugout is excited for this potential scoring opportunity. Here comes the pitch. Ball two's high. Hitters count for Durkin now. The pitch. Durkin swings under it. 2-1 now. Runners on first and second for the Panthers. three inside. Friendly count for Cash now. Looking to put some runs on the scoreboard. The pitch. Ball four high. Reynolds walks Dirk in. Loads the bases. Someone in the crowd now wants Nunchwander to hit Grand Slam. But it looks like we're going to have a pitching change before that could potentially happen. Looks like Reynolds is done for the night. He will go play third base. Not a bad performance by Reynolds. Just a few walks can cause that for any team. Especially Liberty Hill. New pitcher looks to be the previously said first baseman, number seven. If I can find his name, Tanner Balu. Balu has a strong, or a tall, lanky figure. Sort of awkward pitching motion. But he's going to try to get the Patriots out of this jam. For Liberty Hill, the bases are loaded. Stavano on third, Knox on second, Durkin on first. And Kate Nunschwander looking to knock a few in. Still no outs in this inning. A great scoring opportunity for the Panthers. Final pitch here for Balu. New catcher for the Patriots as well. Looks like number 13, Joe Quintanella. So just joining us. Liberty Hill looking to score here in the bottom of the third with the bases loaded, no outs. Caden Nunschwander up to bat. Looks like we're waiting for a first baseman sub. The previous catcher will head to first base. Finally, Nude Schwander steps into the plate, looking to make something happen here for Liberty Hill. Balu comes set.
First pitch on the inside half called strike. Oh, one count now. Eastview Corners playing in, looking for the out at home plate. Second pitch is swung, fouled, out to the batting cages at Liberty Hill. 0-2 count now for Noon Schwander. He's going to have to protect here. Balu and Eastview looking to get out of this jam. Here comes the pitch. Curveball outside. Noon Schwander decided not to chase. 1-2 count now. Durkin on first, Knox on second, Stavano on third. Ball is low in the dirt, blocked by the catcher, Quintanella. 2-2 two -two count for Noon Schwander. Pitcher comes set. Schwander is out on a strikeout. Ball is pass ball. Stavano scores. 3-0 Liberty Hill. Now one out for Liberty Hill. Runners on second and third for Tyler Williams. Here comes the pitch. Nearly hits Williams for ball one. Now the entire East View infield is playing in, looking to keep the Panthers to a as low as possible. Ground ball to third. Williams thrown out at first. East View keeps the runners in check. Two outs now. Chase Maxwell going to look to take the runners in. Liberty Hill leads 3-0, bottom of the third. Looking to add on a few more here. First pitch is fouled back for strike one. A one count for Maxwell. Malu comes set. Delivers. Curveball is watched. Ball one. Low in the dirt. Ball two is high outside. Maxwell looking to do some damage. Pitcher comes set. Delivers. Swung on and missed by Maxwell. Liberty Hill trying to knock the runners in and not leave them stranded. Balu trying to get Eastview out of the inning the pitch. Maxwell fouls off the inside fastball. He remains alive. Two two count.
Maxwell hits it down the right field line. Foul. It's going to blow out of here. Maxwell doing a good job of defending right now. Waiting for the pitch he likes. Wind is absolutely howling. Maxwell going to try to knock in a few runs for Liberty Hill. 2-2 Two -two count. Curveball is high for Balu. Full count. Full count. Here comes the pitch. Maxwell pops it up. It's going to go into the stands. Into the Eastview crowd. Maxwell fighting hard. Balu comes set. Delivers. Ball four high for Maxwell. He'll take his base. Base is loaded for Liberty Hill. Umpire asks for balls from Coach Johns on the first base line. Now to bat for Liberty Hill, number five, Logan Dyer. Looking to add on to the scoreboard. Sophomore lefty. Dyer steps up to the plate. Balu comes set. The pitch. Low and outside. Ball one. Pitch number two. High and outside. Two account for Logan Dyer. Balu comes set again. Ball three is also high and outside. Three oh count now for Dyer. On deck is number two, Garrett Neely. Comes set. The pitch. High and outside. Ball four, Bally walks in a run for Liberty Hill. Liberty Hill leads now 4 0. Garrett Neely has the plate looking to redeem himself from his last flyout. Also had a few RBIs to the stat chart. is loaded for Liberty Hill. Bally takes a sign. Come set. First pitch is a ball high. Bally having some control issues right now. Looking to keep the Patriots in this game. Here comes the pitch. Ball two, high as well. Liberty Hill looking for a smart at bat here from Neely. Pitch number three is a strike on the outside half. Two one count now. Balu comes set. Delivers. 
Ball three high. Durkin on third. Maxwell on second. Dyer on first. Neely at the plate. Liberty Hill leading 4 0 in the bottom of the third. Ballot comes set. The pitch. Strike two down the middle. Full count now here for Neely. This is a big moment for Liberty Hill. The pitch. Ball four high. Neely is walked. Another run comes in for Liberty Hill. Ty Maldonado is going to courtesy run for Garrett Neely, the starting catcher. Back to the top of the lineup here now. Ryan Lear is going to get a chance with the bases loaded. Liberty Hill now up 5 0. Leary looking to do some damage. The pitch. First pitch swinging, fouled off into the, not into the parking lot, into the net. Leary is not wanting to be walked. Maldonado on first, Dyer on second, Maxwell on third, Leary at the plate. Ballot comes set. Leary, ground ball up the middle, gets through. Maxwell scores, and so does Dyer. Two-run single for Ryan Leary. Puts the Panthers up 7-0 against the Eastview Patriots. Now with the runners at first and second, batting is number seven, Jack Stavanoa. looking to continue the scoring for Liberty Hill. Ballou just trying to get out of the inning for the Patriots. Comes set. Delivers. Ball's in the dirt. Both runners are going to advance. Now runners at second and third for Stavanoa. A single scores two. One no count. Ballou comes set. Stavanoa fouls the fastball into the net. One one count for Stavanoa. Ballou delivers. Stavanoa swung on late. 1 2 now. Stavanoa looking to keep the Panthers scoring alive. Valley takes a sign. Comes set. Checks Maldonado on third. Delivers. Ball two inside. Two to count for Stavanoa. The pitch. Low is low again. Full count now. Stavanoa looking to reach any way he can. Number eight Jackson knocks on deck. Full count. Ball is high and away. Stavano is walked. Loads the bases again for Liberty Hill. Eastview really looking for a way out of this. 
Liberty Hill looking to tack on a few more runs. Knox at the plate. First pitch is swung on, fouled off to the backstop. Oh, on count for Knox here. Ball's low and outside. One one count for Knox here. Ballou's fastball is low. I have seven as well. One one count now. Knox looking to score in a few runs. Ball outside. Three one count for Knox now. Ballou's pitch is in for a strike. Full count for Knox and Liberty Hill. Liberty Hill trying to keep the scoring alive. Ballard, the pitch. Runner's going. Pitch is high. Knox is walked. New run means 8-0 Liberty Hill. Oh, yeah. Eastview's going to go talk out with Ballou. Eastview doing some defensive substitutions, it appears. Currently without a catcher, and then looks like a new third base. Oh, new pitching change, never mind. New pitcher for the Patriots is lefty. Number six, Caleb Devin, a senior pitcher. Up to bat for Liberty Hill will be number 24, Cash Durkin, the cleanup hitter, looking to knock in a few runs. Devin for the Patriots looks to have a unique arm angle. Kind of a three-fourths delivery, three-quarter delivery. It's going to give a new look for the Liberty Hill batters. New catcher for the Patriots is number 21, Jaden Reynolds. The, the ninth starting pitcher.
Devin nearing his final warm-up pitches here. Liberty Hill currently up 8-0 here in the bottom of the third after a strong offensive outburst in this inning. Patriots are trying to contain them here with the bases loaded. Panthers are awaiting Devin to be ready on the mound. Looks like he is. Devin and Reynolds meeting at the mound. Everyone heads back to their spots, looking to resume play. First baseman Cash Durkin stepping into the plate, stepping into the box. Lefty cleanup hitter for the Panthers. Devin comes set, delivers, hits Durkin in the back. Durkin's going to take his base, and Leary's going to drop home. Panthers now lead 9-0. Now to bat number 10, Caden Noonschwander, Panther third baseman. Devin comes set, delivers, outside. First pitch is a ball. 1-0 count now. Devin finds his own with that one. Strike on the inside half. 1-1 one, one count for Noonschwander. Base is loaded. Durkin on first. Knocks on second. Pitch. Noonschwander fouls back. Stavano on third. Noonschwander looking to extend the lead to double digits. Devin takes his sign, comes set. Noonschwander through the shortstop's glove. One run in, two runs in for Liberty Hill on a Noonschwander two RBI single. Liberty Hill up now, 11-0. Noonschwander on first. Durkin on second for Tyler Williams stepping into the box. Panthers are in the middle of a 10 run inning. Devin, here's the pitch. Williams watches the first pitch strike on the outer half. Devin comes set, looks at Durkin on second, delivers. Williams swings through the ball, tips it. 0-2 oh, count for Williams now. Field umpire is going to talk to Devin about something. Probably about coming set longer. Williams steps into the box, 0-2 oh, counts. Two outs for Liberty Hill.
pitches outside. Keeps Williams alive. 1 2 count now. Williams swings through that pitch outside to end the bottom of the third, but not before the Panthers score 10 runs. We're heading to the top of the fourth. Bailey heads back out to the mound after what seems like an hour. He's going to look to regain that form he had in the first three innings. First pitch did look good, though. Eastview had a little team meeting. They're going to look to get the bats rolling here. Liberty Hill currently having a strong district performance against the Eastview Patriots. Tomorrow night they play Rouse at home at 7 o'clock. You can listen here live. Rouse currently the 8th ranked, ninth ranked team in the state after some strong wins early on in the season. That will be a good district matchup to watch. Bailey putting in his few final warm-up pitches and will be here for the top of the fourth. Neely's going to have his throw down to second here. Nice little one hop picked by Knox. Leading off for the Patriots. If I can find the picture of the roster. Leading off is Balu. Bailey throws a first pitch strike. 0 1 count now. Pitch. Fouled off into the net. 0 2 count for Bailey. Looking to retire Balu with ease. Bailey comes set. Curveball. Balu chases. Neely picks it. Throws the first. Durkin grabs the ball. It's an out. A little sloppy on the drop third, but an out is an out. Bailey comes set for the second EC batter of the inning. Number 21, Jaden Reynolds. First pitch is a ball. Curveball outside. Reynolds looking to start something for the Patriots. Bailey set, delivers. Fastball just a little high. 2-0 count now. The pitch. Ball three low. 
for Bailey. One out in the inning. 3-0 count to Reynolds. Bailey comes set. Strike. Fastball down the middle there for Bailey. Looking to have a few more of those here. 3-1 count. Ball four is low in the dirt. Puts another Eastview runner on first. So far it hasn't been an issue for the Panthers. Up to bat number 17, Peyton Adams for the Patriots. As we get a courtesy runner for Reynolds, the current catcher. Adams looking to start something here. Bailey once again looking for a ground ball. Pitch. High and outside. Ball one. Leader's going to go say a few words of encouragement. Or game plan. Who knows? There he also talking to Knox. Bailey comes Bailey comes set. Ball's just a little low. 2 0 count. Four Adams at the plate. Bailey delivers. Fastball inside is fouled back by Adams. Two on count now. <laughs> Bailey steps onto the rubber. Eyes his runner at first. Comes set. Delivers. Ball is hit into the left center field gap. Dyer is able to get over to it for out number two. Ball was well hit by Adams, but Dyer was able to run over and get it. Dyer, a running back in football, has good speed and can use it when he needs it. Two outs for the Panthers now. Bat number 14. Barkley. Bailey pitch. High. Ball one. Two outs in the top of the fourth. 1-0 -oh count. Bailey pitches. Swung on and missed. Strike one. Bailey comes set. Barkley fouls it out for strike two. Pitchers count here for Bailey. Two outs. Runner on first. Bailey shows the curveball. Can be picked by Neely. The Eastview runner takes second base. Arguably the Patriots' best scoring opportunity of the day. Barkley is looking to do something for him. Bailey comes set. 2-2 two -two count. Fastball popped up into the infield. Durkin's calling it. Durkin catches it. Out number three. We head to the bottom of the fourth inning, where the Panthers look to keep on scoring.
New pitcher for the Patriots. Appears to be number 15, Rendell Ellis. He's looking to hold the Panthers in check here in the bottom of the fourth. As Ellis warms up, it's looking like he's going to have to face number 23, Andon Thomas. Thomas, big left-handed hitter. Also the Panthers' middle linebacker in football. Good throw down by the Patriot catcher. Thomas steps into the plate against Ellis. We're here at the bottom of the fourth, and Thomas at bat. First pitch, ball high. Ellis winds up, delivers. Strike one on the outside corner. 1-1 one, one count for Thomas, looking to start the Panthers this inning. Ellis. Same spot as the last one. Strike two. Thomas looking to stay alive here. Thomas grounds it. First base. It's going to be close. Ellis beats him there. And he is. Thomas is out. On the ground out to first base. Good coverage by Ellis to roll over to first as the pitcher. One out for Liberty Hill. Now up to bat, number five, Logan Dyer. The Panther center fielder. Lefty on lefty matchup here. Ellis, first pitch ball. delivers. Ball too high inside. Two account for Dyer. Looking to get on base. Pitch is fouled off back for strike number one. Ball three outside by Ellis. Three one count. Ellis winds up. Dyer bloops a little blooper. Right at second base. The Patriot shortstop is unable to handle it. Dyer now reached on a single. With Dyer on first base, now comes Garrett Neely, batting. Walked his last at bat. Neely steps into the box with one out for Liberty Hill. Ellis comes set. Delivers. Neely swung on and missed. First pitch swinging. Pitch outside. Job, 
One one count now. Dyer on first base. Ellis comes set. Ball two inside on Neely. Two one count. The pitch. Swung on and missed by Neely. Two two count now. Neely looking to stay alive. Ball three high. Neely has a full count. Ellis comes set. Delivers. Dyer goes. Neely is rung up. On strikes, Dyer is safe at second base. Two outs for Liberty Hill. Now to bat number nine, Ty Maldonado. Getting into the game. Looking to drive in Dyer. Ellis delivers. First pitch is high. One zero count now. Second pitch is also a ball. 2-0 for Maldonado. Dyer on second base. Two outs in the inning. Pitch. Strike one on the outside corner for Ellis. Ellis' curveball is high for ball number three. Maldonado has a 3-1 count here. Looking to reach base. Pitch. Maldonado swings through the fastball. Full count. Mana swings on strike three in the inning. We head to the top of the fifth here at Liberty Hill. Bailey's still on the mound for Liberty Hill here. So far kept a shutout intact. As the Panthers leave, lead 11-0 here in the top of the fifth against the Eastview Patriots. Looks like we have some defensive substitutions for the Panthers. Brody Blay is now in at first base. Trent Eller at third. Can't quite tell if there's any outfielders. My eyes are just not that good. Good throw from Neely. Now leading off for Eastview. Number five, Gill. Gill. Bailey comes set. First pitch. Fastball is a strike on the outside half.
Takes a sign. Delivers. Just a little outside for Bailey. Gill looking to make something happen here for Eastview. Gill swings on and misses. 1-2 now. Bailey looking to retire him. Come set. Curveball goes outside. 2-2 two, two count. Gill staying alive. Bailey comes set. Delivers. Hit on the ground to Leary. Leary fielded it cleanly. Throws him out at first base for out number one. My mistake, that is not Leary. That is number nine, Ty Maldonado. Good play from Maldonado, who just entered the game. Now to bat number eight, Tyler Champagne. Bailey set. First pitch just a little high. 1 0 count. Two zero now. Alright, be ready now. It's your pitch. Hitter's pitch right here. Bailey comes set. Champagne watches a strike on the outer half. Two one now. Pitch. Champagne grounds it to Maldonado. Oh no, fields it cleanly. Throws the first. Blay comes off the bag on the throw. Runner is safe. Runner on first for Patriots. At bat number nine. Ben Berglund. Bailey comes set. Delivers. First pitch of the ball outside. One out here in the top of the fifth. Pick. Runners back safe. No tag applied. Bailey comes set. The pitch. Ball two inside. Eastview looking to make something happen. Bailey eyes his runner. Come set. Strike one for Bailey. Two one count now. One out. Runner on first. Bailey's pitch the strike on the outside corner. Strike number two. Berglund's looking to stay alive here. 2-2 two -two count. Bailey comes set. Ground ball to Knox. Knox doesn't field it cleanly. Runner's going to be safe at first. Berglund reaches on an error. Batting for issue number nine or number eleven, Tyler Huerta. With runners on first and second. Looking to drive in a few runs. Bailey takes a sign. Comes set. Delivers. First pitch is a ball outside.
Bailey looking to keep the shutout alive. The pitch. Huerta drives it into shallow center field. Knox isn't able to bring it down. The runner's going to advance a base. Base is loaded for the Patriots now. Coach Bisher for Liberty Hill is going to go out and talk to Bailey. As McLaughlin steps to the plate for Eastview. This is the Patriots' best scoring opportunity of the day and their best chance to get back at the Panthers. Panthers looking to escape after a few errors. The Patriots looking to capitalize on them. McLaughlin steps into the box. Bailey takes his time. Come set. First pitch is singled into right field. One run's going to score for Eastview. RBI single by McLaughlin on the first pitch. 11-1, Liberty Hill. Now to bat number seven, Tanner Bal Balu. Liberty Hill looking to <laughs> Come set. First pitch curveball is a strike for Bailey. Bailey comes set. The pitch. Ball is low. Balu for the Patriots looking to drive in a few runs. delivers. Curveball swung on and missed. Strike two. One two count for Bailey. Come set. The pitch. Curveball fouled off of Balu's leg. Bailey takes a sign. Bailey's fastball just misses the outside corner. 2-2 two -two count now. Balu looking to drive in a few runs. Curveball is swung on and missed for a strikeout for Bailey. Two outs for Liberty Hill now. Eastview still trying to knock in a few runs. Bases loaded for the Patriots. Not to bat number 21, Jaden Reynolds. The pitch. Curveball. Little high for the first pitch ball. Panthers looking for an out here. Bailey delivers. Fastball's fouled off into the net. One one count for Reynolds.
pitch. Curveball in for strike two. Bailey looking to minimize the mistakes. Comes set. Delivers. Fastball swung on and missed for strike three. The Panthers escape the inning. We're heading to the bottom of the fifth. Liberty Hill happy to escape that with only allowing one run. Going into the bottom of the fifth, Liberty Hill leads 11 to 1. Correction. That's ball game. Liberty Hill's up 10 after 5, which means it's a run rule. Liberty Hill wins its first district game against the Eastview Patriots, 11 to 1. I'd like to thank you for listening to Liberty Hill Baseball on Vipe Live, presented by Liberty Hill Booster Club.